How fast is inhaled insulin? I'm gonna tell you. I can correct a high blood sugar within one hour and then I don't crash. It doesn't matter if you're using the four, the eight, or the 12 unit cartridges. The bigger the dose, the longer it is in your system, but they're all super fast. Inhaled insulin starts working within two and a half minutes. Inhaled insulin is so fast that you don't need to pre-bolus before eating for most meals. The reason it's so much faster than injected rapid acting insulin is because it's going into your lungs. Inhaled insulin is a powder. Each one of these cartridges just contains powder. There's nothing really fancy about them. The powder is in this little bucket. When you inhale, it goes into your lungs and then is actually absorbed into your bloodstream through the lining of your lungs. That's why it's so much faster than injected insulin. Injected insulin has to work its way through all your body fat until it gets to your bloodstream. It takes forever. Okay, so within two and a half minutes, inhaled insulin is hitting your bloodstream. Within about 15 minutes, you can see the inhaled insulin affecting your blood sugar noticeably on your CGM. In real life, what that looks like for me is like, let's say my blood sugar is rising 140 and I'm watching it at 140, I'll take a dose of a Frezza inhaled insulin. And within 10 to 15 minutes, I can see that 140 starting to go like this and then eventually like this. What I'm seeing at 10 or 15 minutes after dosing isn't necessarily this, but I'm seeing my blood sugar stop rising. And then within another 10 minutes after that, I'm seeing it starting to drop. Inhaled insulin acts fast, but it's also out fast. That rapid change in your blood sugar might sound scary, but the cool thing about inhaled insulin, it's out of your system quickly too. Really the impact of that four unit dose has cleared your system within one hour. If I take an eight, I think of it being in my system for definitely 90 minutes for a big impact and up to two hours if I'm thinking about exercising within two hours of having taken a dose. I don't personally use the 12s, but the 12s are gonna function a lot like the eights. There are plenty of times where I will take two eights. I just don't have a prescription for the 12s, but there are plenty of times where I'll take an eight and a four or an eight and an eight if I'm eating a really high carb meal. One of my favorite things about inhaled insulin is that because it drops your blood sugar so fast, you get that relief of being able to you know, stop rising highs or stop a meal from spiking your blood sugar, but you don't have to worry about crashing. I know that if I took a dose of a Frezza at noon and my blood sugar is 90 at one o'clock, most of that dose is out of my system already. So I don't really have to worry about crashing. The low blood sugars on inhaled insulin are just less dramatic, less exhausting, easier to treat. By the way, I've got a whole book on treating low blood sugars because it's hard. It's hard to treat low blood sugars carefully, especially if you're using injected rapid acting insulin. You wanna eat everything in sight. With inhaled insulin, it's a lot easier to treat the lows thoughtfully. A lot of people, including doctors, think that type ones can't use inhaled insulin because these doses are so weird. They're four, eight, and 12. You can make it work. It is nothing like injected units of insulin, nothing. It's a totally different game. You've just gotta stay open-minded to it. I have type one. It works. I know so many people with type one who love inhaled insulin, but you've got to be open-minded. I woke up last night with a blood sugar of 250. I know that if I'm correcting a high in the early morning hours of the day, I only need a four unit cartridge to bring that 250 down to 100. There might be times where I would use an eight if I know I have a meal still digesting and I'm correcting the high and taking extra insulin for the meal itself. If a four doesn't work to correct a high blood sugar for me, I know I'm dealing with more insulin resistance or I have food that's still being digested affecting my blood sugar. When I'm eating, I take a Frezza when I start eating and then depending on what it is, I'll take a follow-up dose an hour later because that first dose is in and out of my system, mostly within one hour. So those follow-up doses give you flexibility. You can be like, well, I'm gonna go for a run right now, so I don't need an eight, I'm just gonna take a four. Or maybe you take nothing and you just let your run deal with that leftover insulin from that first dose. Depends on what you ate, right? It depends on how much insulin you need. That Follow-up dose might be tedious for some people. For me, it gives me so much flexibility because I'm active several times a day. If you have your CGM telling you, hey, your blood sugar is rising, it's been an hour since your last dose, then you just grab it, 
take another dose. It's so easy. It's just really simple. You do have to go into it with an open mind. Like you've just got to let go of how you think rapid acting insulin works so that you can learn how ultra rapid acting insulin works. It's so different. Stop trying to compare it to injected insulin. It's like comparing bell peppers to a strawberry. Like these are two totally different things and they're both delicious. We want both, but they're not the same. I explain in both of these videos how inhaled insulin works and how to get insurance coverage.